When Winston-Salem switches to rollout recycling, you'll only have to bring your cart to the curb every other week. Hi, I'm Ed McNeil for the Winston-Salem Sanitation Division, and I'm here today with Ty Carrington of Waste Management to show you how to properly use your rollout recycling container. Now, Ty, aside from the fact that you can recycle, put all recyclables in here without sorting, what's different about this program? One of the biggest changes with this program is that we'll be using an ASL truck going forward. Uh, these trucks are commonly known as our one-armed bandits. And what that means is what they have is an arm that will reach out, grab the cart, and dump it as they proceed from house to house. And because of this, it's important that we follow some simple guidelines about just where to place the cart for collection, right? Yes, exactly. Just as you demonstrated, if you bring the cart as close to the curb as possible with the front of the cart facing the street and the handles to the back, and there's an arrow on the cart that I help indicate this to you when you bring it to the curb, that would be perfect for the truck to service. It's also important that you keep the cart clear of any obstacles. Exactly, yes. You want to keep it at least three to five feet away from all obstacles. Those obstacles include trees, cars, mailboxes, stop signs, anything of the like because with the way that the arm operates it opens very wide and then it grabs the cart and if anything is within that distance it's going to obstruct it and damage it and we don't want to damage anyone's property. And you also have to make sure there are no low hanging wires or branches overhead, right? Yes, definitely. With the way that the arm operates, it lifts the cart up sometimes anywhere between 15 and 20 feet in the air. So if you have any trees that are hanging above it or low hanging wires that you put the cart below, we're probably going to obstruct those things as the truck is servicing the cart and it's going to cause damage to the neighborhood, to the surrounding areas, and we don't want to do that as well. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Ed. Remember, place your cart at the curb or at the edge of the pavement. Make sure that the front of your cart is facing the street. Keep at least three feet between the cart and any other object, and don't place it under low-hanging wires or branches. Following these rules makes collection go faster, which in turn means less exhaust in your neighborhood and less greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. And that helps all of us. For the Winston-Salem Sanitation Division, I'm Ed McNeil. Thanks for watching.